Hi, my name is Chris Brumet and I'm an online physique specialist that helps people optimize their health with a combination of lifestyle changes and supplements. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to mix peptides. The first thing we're going to do is set out everything we need in front of us. Here, I've got a combination of bacteria static water, which you might have access to, or just a general sterile water snapper vial. So I'm gonna use this for the purpose of today's video, just because it's what most people have access to a little bit more easily. And it is what comes from most peptide sites. So. But I take static water out of the way. We also would like to have an alcohol swab just for good practice. I'm not going to do that today just because I'm not actually showing you how to do it. I'm just showing you how to mix it. But if you want to swab the areas to make sure it's clean before you do the injection, whether it's intramuscular or subcutaneous, that is good practice. From here, it's very simple to mix peptide vial. We only have three things in front of us, but I know a lot of you guys get really confused when it comes to mixing these things for the first time because you're very nervous having never done it before. So it's absolutely fine. We're just going to talk through it quickly so you know exactly what you're doing when you get presented with these tools in front of you. So first thing is grabbing the peptide, snap off the vial. <laughs> then I want to take the insulin pin, fill it full of air, and we're going to put that air into the vial to change the pressure so that when we go to draw out later on, it's going to come out. If, there's, if the pressure is different inside, you won't be able to draw anything out. It will come out really slowly. So by putting the air in first, push that in. It means the water won't shoot in either, which can potentially damage the peptide. But also then when I go to draw out later on, the pressure is going to be equalized and it's going to come straight out. From there, very simple, put that cap back on. Take the snapper vial. It's, you can see the little dot on it there. We're gonna snap it away from that dot. I usually use some piece of material, so you could even just use your shirt, which I'm gonna use right now, just to wrap it round, because it is glass. Snap. There we go. And then we're just gonna use one milliliter. These come in two, so if you have two peptides, you can mix both up at the same time. But it's just easier to work out the maths. We've got, often 10 milligram dosages in the peptide, one milliliter of water, basic maths, basic multiples of 10, so we can work out how much we need very easily. It is different depending on the peptide because the dosage will be different and the amount in the vial will be different. So sometimes you might have two milligrams, sometimes five, sometimes 10, depends what peptide it is and what dosage you bought. So just be very aware of that. When people often ask, how much should I draw? You need to know how strong you've mixed it in terms of the solution, how many milligrams you've got here, and then it's basic multiples of 10, as we've said, because we've got one milliliter, 10 points. So divide by 10. This particular peptide is 10 milligrams. So if I want two milligrams, and I've put one milliliter of water in, I'm gonna draw this back to 0.2 multiples of 10. I know that sounds a little bit silly to some people, but a lot of people do get confused, so it's absolutely fine. You just want to be able to be right with your dosage, so you make sure you've got the right dosage. If it's sat like this, it's not quite mixed straight away, fine, just leave it, don't shake it, because you will damage the peptide. It's very sensitive, it's also heat sensitive. So we just gently swirl it like this, maybe take the vial, and just turn it like that, just so that the water's moving against it, but we're not shaking it. It will dissolve in a couple of minutes time, and then it's ready to use. Obviously, I've gone with an unmarked one today, just intentionally, so we can show you how to mix a peptide, not a specific peptide, because mixing a peptide would be exactly the same, doesn't matter what it is. The only thing that changes is the amount you're gonna put in here, depending on the amount you desire for whichever peptide it is. So make sure you're very clear on your dosages, make sure you take the right amount, make sure you swap before usage, and that is literally it. From there, we'd stick the insulin pin in, draw as much as we need, and we'd either go subcutaneous, usually in your stomach fat, or intramuscular into any area you want into a muscle. It's as simple as that. If you've got any questions, let me know.